Hey everybody. So I'm finally getting around to showing off my cookbook that came out last October. And um, I'm really, really proud of it. But now that I'm done with boards for third year medical school, I have a little bit of time and I'm about to start fourth year. And fourth year is basically a bunch of traveling all around the country and trying out for different programs for residency. And it's very expensive. So I thought I would do a sale of the cookbook. And what better time to show off the cookbook than doing a sale. So let me show you some of the features of the cookbook, what's in it, what you get, how it's set up, how I basically took all the problems that I had eating a low nickel diet and trying to figure out how to eat a low nickel diet. And I tried to solve them by how I organized this book. And then at the end, I'll give you the code that you need to get 20% off if you'd like to either get an ebook or a hardcover on my website for 20% off. All right, so. Now we have kind of a forward by Dr. Zyrus, who is one of the experts in the world on this condition. And I give my story and then we do kind of an education about what nickel allergy is, what is systemic nickel allergy, what are the symptoms, etc. if you want some of that information. And then I give kind of the three tenets of low nickel diet success. This is actually very similar to what's on my website. And then I talk about approaches. I have a, a couple of meal plan examples with recipes from the book you can try. And then this is probably some of the most helpful stuff that's in this book, and that is the nickel food lists. So this shows low, moderate, and high uh, nickel foods. And this is mostly for like a North American person. I did a lot of research. I used the FDA lists. I used the app uh, that's online and I calculated all of these things. And while some of these things you may read in some places are low, they're actually high or that are high, that can be actually low. Um, but this is a good general way to see foods that you should try to stick to at the beginning and foods you should definitely stay away from. And then I went through and I literally calculated for teaspoon, tablespoon, um, cup, all of that stuff, the amount of micrograms per serving of every single ingredient that is used in this book. So you could actually go through here with your own recipes and figure out, oh, a cup of cabbage is, you know, seven and a half micrograms because it's not very easy to figure that out with any of the existing resources right now. So I've got a bunch of those and you can use all that. Then I talk about some different ingredients. I talk about maybe um, some specific conditions that you may have that may mean you need to stay away from certain ingredients. And then we go into the recipes. So the way that a recipe page is set up is basically You've got the total nickel for the whole recipe, and then per serving, which is also shown up here. So if you're trying to stay under, let's say you're trying to stay under 100 micrograms instead of 150 micrograms a day, you can easily scroll through here, or not scroll, but um, flip through here and see how much per serving these recipes are. So like a taco skillet is 29 micrograms per serving. And it's you know really similar to any other cookbook as far as ingredients and everything. At the bottom, I do have notes. So there may be particular ingredients here like cayenne pepper, tomatoes, and, and then a pepper. Like these are nightshades and can be inflammatory to some. Or avocado is a high FODMAP food. So if you're trying to do a low FODMAP version of the low nickel diet, then um, I put these sorts of warnings and um, messages in the recipes themselves. So yeah, so we've got, um, let's see, it might be faster for me to show here. We've got breakfast, we've got 
Uh, bread and pasta alternatives because unfortunately with gluten that can open, you know, cause permeability in your, um, the lining of your uh, small intestine and that can make it easier for nickel to get through. So I always recommend that people, especially in the beginning, try not to have any gluten so that they can keep their um, small intestine barrier nice and tight so not as much nickel gets through. So these are some alternatives you can use. Then we've got beef, pork, and lamb, poultry, seafood, lots of soups. I'm a huge fan of soups. Soups can do wonders for gut healing and getting a lot of vegetables in if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, veggies, we've got some sweet treats, some adult beverages that are supposed to be lower in nickel, and uh, some sauces, dips, and dressings that are also low nickel. Now I do want to warn you because there's some people that have given me on Amazon some negative reviews that this isn't all low nickel and that's true because you don't necessarily have to stay low nickel all day long or forever you may have to go between low and moderate nickel amounts for the rest of your life but uh, for example I can eat chocolate these days and not break out of course I shouldn't eat chocolate every single day but uh, I can definitely eat chocolate now without breaking out. And that's because I spent the time doing the healing and reducing the amount of nickel for long enough that my immune system stopped making all of those cells running around looking for it. So my body is not as reactive anymore. And that can be you as well if you just eat low nickel for long enough. So yeah, so I've got um, you know pictures on a lot of the recipes. These are all pictures I took myself. And I designed this cookbook myself, other than the, you know, just the layout wise, but the actual design was someone else. But every other, every picture I took myself. And I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, lots of really yummy recipes. And most of them are pretty simple. Um, I'm definitely not a chef. You shouldn't expect gourmet or anything. This was just my way of trying to get this process to be as simple as possible for people who are trying to learn how to eat low nickel, who need to make it as simple as possible because it's very stressful. And uh, I think that I achieved that. So yeah, if you would like to get one of these for 20% off, uh, go and hit the link in the description below and the code is auditions in all capital letters and you can get 20% off of an ebook or a hardback for the next week and that's through I think the 21st of June and then it will go back to normal price but um, I really appreciate um, all of the you know the thanks and the warm comments and everything that I've gotten and I'm really grateful to the people who have purchased this so far I put all of my savings into getting this printed and made and now you know i need to make a little money so i can go do my audition rotation so i really appreciate if you can help me out with that i'll also put down a a, a link below to a kofi account if you just want to give a donation to help the cause i'd really appreciate that too and i hope everybody's doing really well definitely you know you can shoot me an email if you have questions or leave a comment below and I'd be happy to answer it for you. All right, take care.